Our psalm today, chapter 24, Parachat Dalet, features prominently in tefillah. It is used as the Shir Shalyom, or the psalm of the day on Sundays. It's the psalm that we say when we accompany the Torah back into the Aaron, into the Ark on weekdays. And it also features prominently in our tefillah that we say on Rosh Hashanah. What is it about this psalm and its themes that we use it so often on our tefillot? I would like to suggest that this psalm really deals with God and God's creation of the world. And therefore, God's greatness comes from the fact that God created the world. The first two verses read as follows. L'david mizmor, la shema aretzum loa tevel v'yoshepa, ki hu al yamim yisadav al neharot yechonana. Right? Of David a psalm, the earth is the Lord's and all that is in it the world and all who live in it. For he founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the ocean currents. The psalm then goes on to say, who can ascend to the mountain of the Lord? Who can stand in the Lord's holy place? And then it finally concludes with four very, very famous psukim, which we will sing in a moment, right? Lift up your heads and your gates, lift yourselves up your everlasting doors, that the king of glory may come in. What this psalm deals with is that we know that God has created the world and therefore is the foundation of everything in the world. I think that's why we say it when we begin our week on Sunday, when we return the Torah, right? Because there's a relationship between creation and that creation was really just here for God to give us the Torah. And finally, this is a very appropriate theme for Rosh Hashanah when we actually celebrate the creation of the world and think about that God is really the king over the world. We'll now hear one of the most famous tunes that comes from this chapter in Tehillim. Nine, 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 nine,